Last week, the Budget Committee of Parliament presented a report of the National Budget Framework Paper for financial year 2024-2025 to financial year 2028-2029. A minority report on the same was presented by Ibrahim Semujunganda and the debate pushed to Tuesday this week. Today was dedicated to the Budget Framework Paper. In the report, Kira Municipality MP Semujunganda claimed that the budget operated by the State House is over-exaggerated and misused. The convoy of the President Aaron has 69 vehicles, as the table below shows. Mr. Speaker and honorable members, can you justify the President employing 761 staff in his office? 996 staff at his residence. As Parliament convened, on to consider the motion to adapt the forthcoming National Budget Framework paper, the chairperson of the Parliamentary Committee on Presidential Affairs, Jessica Ababiko, watered down allegations raised in the minority report. And in this process, we have never requested for support for any activity like weddings, and birthday parties. So I request that this is removed from this report unless there is an evidence that we requested for support for these activities. The Minister of State for Finance, Henry Musasizi, says funds allocated to State House and Office of the President are utilized according to the institutions but not to the President as an individual. On the contrary, the staffing structure and other facilities in the State House are tailored to support effective and efficient operations of the President. That all the expenditures under State House are expenditures incurred by the person of the President in his house. These are institutional expenditures, just like we do. The MPs re echoed to Parliament priority areas for government to tackle in the budget process. Sports employs many young people, they are out there shining. We normally celebrate them when they return with medals. But in the process of going, they are normally on their own. They are in solitude, trying to look for money here and there. There's a time when there had to be a fundraising for shoes for our athletes, some years back. C can we be serious? The budget cycle comes at a time when experts believe that Uganda's economic growth is at a 5.2% growth rate. Honourable Minister for Finance. Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News. Right Honourable Speaker.